All right, so this video, a, a part of my whole light uh, Christmas tree, Christmas light sequencing, um, this is the part where we go from, okay, so I know what I'm buying and I know kind of the dream of what I want, so how do I actually make it happen? So uh, I was doing my research on HolidayCoro.com and when I was looking at blogs, things like that, this website came up, HolidaySequences.com because one of the most daunting parts of this process is okay so I have all the materials and okay do I have to spend hours upon hours designing my own show to make it dance to the music uh, come to find out you can actually buy those sequences from people that obviously have made them and then you can just uh, buy them and put them on your own controller um, and so holiday sequences is one of them there's a lot of other websites out there and I'll put those links so that you guys can see them as well but holiday sequences was the best one I saw as you can see they have fourth of July sequences Halloween Christmas New Year's so uh, let's go to the Christmas one here uh, we, so I have a 12 ribbon CCR tree uh, as you can see what they have here so they have 12 ribbon, 16 ribbon singing trees, Christmas light sequences, meaning a uh, whole show or the six channel RGB star sequence. Uh, so we have a 12 ribbon sequence here. And as you can see, look at all these. So for $35 each, you can uh, download uh, any of these sequences you want. And they even offer, like, if you buy four, they'll give you a discount and things like that. So I only downloaded four of them for this year. Uh, I'm looking maybe to download a couple next year and possibly making my own next year. Uh, but anyway, so this is how it works. So what you do is, let's say we want to do Holiday Express Disco Santa. I think I want to pull, do that one next year. So it gives you the price available for download, but it gives you a preview of what it looks like. Here, let me do full screen. And So anyway, it's a playoff of uh, Macho Man, and uh, later on they go into a spoof of YMCA. But anyway, so that gives you a little preview of what you're buying. And so I was like, oh man, I really like this. This is really cool. So what you can do is you can add it to the card, obviously download it yourself, and then they give you the sequence of the download immediately. Um, and again, what you have to do, they'll give you the sequence, but you actually have to download the song. So they only, they don't, because of copyright, and obviously... Uh, they can only give you the sequence, but you would have to click on the link to go to the song, which they sell on Amazon, uh, which they only sell it. Uh, oh, they you can just buy the song right there. Um, so anyway, you can buy the song, and this is what it comes. So I'll show you. Oh, I went back and I came to myself and back. Hold on. There we go. So uh, I put it on my desktop here. And I CCR Megatree is where I put it. So anyway, they give you a folder. So 12 CCR, 12 Days of Christmas, Pentatonic Stormer Boy, Christmas Can Can, and the Toy Sack. Let's just say I did 12 Days of Christmas for Ryan K. So there's a whole bunch of images that come with it. Again, it's all part of the sequence that you purchase. All right. Uh, and what you'll get is a .lms file, which is right here. So that is actually the... Uh, Lightorama musical sequence, which is what you use and open in um, X Lights, or if you have Lightorama software, but X Lights is actually a free software, which is amazing uh, that it's free. Uh, the guys who built it, uh, I watched a couple of their videos, and they're just honestly <laughs> guys that are like, you know what, we want to help people build amazing light displays, and so we'll give this away for free. Uh, so you get this file, and then you also get this SUP file, so Superstar sequence file. Uh, which actually has all the data that makes the pictures move on the screen. So when you download it, you get a folder, and you usually get these two sequences. Or, oh, X Lights is already open down here. So here's an example of X Lights. Uh, so if I were to uh, open it for the first time, what I would say is new sequence. Uh, it would be a new musical sequence. And again, choose an audio file. So when you do this in X Lights, it's asking, okay, what song do you want? 
Uh, so I think I saved mine here in this folder. Let's say I wanted to do uh, Christmas Can Can. Did I save it here? I don't remember. Let's do it by date. Oh no, let's do it by kind of document. There it is, the MP3 file. Okay, you open it. And then there will ask you some other options here. Uh, the re recommendation is 20 frames per second, but actually you can just click on done right now. And then there's the file. And then what you can do from here, because uh, in X lights, what you do is that you do a layout. Uh, the only layout I have is that tree. Um, so you fill in the information. So it's there's starting channel, ending channel 1800, because uh, I have. So there, on each LED strip, there's 12 of them, there's 150 LEDs because there's 30, uh, 30 LEDs per meter. It's 5 meters, so 30 times 5 is 150. But each LED has 3 pixels, or I mean 3 channels, one for red, one for green, one for blue. So 150 times 3 is actually 450. And so you, if you add a 450 12 times, we actually get to 1800. So anyway, uh, that's how you so you build the sequence here, and it's as simple as I believe up right up here. You come up here and say, uh, do you want to add an arch, a candy cane? Uh, of course, I just did tree, and then ask you what kind of tree. Uh, we just did a simple front-facing tree, and it starts in the bottom left. And then in the sequencer, all you would have to do is import import effects and then you pull that SUP file or superstar file if you click open again it asks you what kind of tree do you have X size 12 meaning there's 12 strips Y size 50 meaning there's 50 LED uh, yeah 50 LEDs on the each strand uh, image resizing none timing adjustments none we click OK and it's going to ask you to save it we'll just call this uh, test file and we'll put it there slides directory and then you'll notice all these pictures show up and then so it's an imported uh, in order for it to work you have to save the file so you save the sequence we'll call this test sequence save it there and again it's rendering as it's saving meaning when rendering and uh, movie or TV talk means it's actually building the images before it actually plays so if I click play and those here in the preview, there's already pictures showing up. So I didn't have to do any of this programming. It's already done. Let's see if I can go bigger screen here. There you go. Whoops. There you so as you can see, like all the all the the song was going with all the pictures that you're seeing. All right, so there's that. So, again, that took minimal work. All I had to do was import those two files, uh, the sound file that I downloaded and then the SUP file here. And then once you save the sequence, I'll show you what to do after that. Um, but yeah, it's as simple as getting the sequences there. And then the next process would be uploading it to your uh, Raspberry Pi, which then the Raspberry Pi sends it to your actual tree. So another way that you can do it, if it's an X lights, you can come to the Setup tab, and you'll notice that, again, there's all this stuff. What does all this mean? So essentially, this is, like, let's say if you didn't want to use Raspberry Pi, you wanted to use this laptop, for example. You can actually use this laptop to run the show. Like, you need to have the laptop always open, always running, so that the controller knows what to do. But you can just plug it straight into the Ethernet port here, uh, or actually you can do it wirelessly as well. Um, and this computer can run the show by itself, but this is my main computer that I need to use for a whole bunch of other projects. I can't dedicate it to uh, the light show, uh, so that's why I bought the Raspberry Pi. 
and again for 35 bucks and then 15 bucks for the case seems like a pretty good deal right so uh, but so the setup tab here in Xlights can actually set up all the channels for you so uh, because my controller outside had 16 channels that's why the 16 channels 17 and 18 I was just messing around with so you don't need to worry about those but uh, that's why I have it 1 through 16 E131 uh, that's the IP address of this specific controller uh, again channels 1 through 16 150 and then this is how it maps it out so there are 2400 channels going uh, on my controller so anyway uh, the next video will be so how do you put it on Falcon Pi Player, uh, which is the Raspberry Pi and the software that goes on it, and then how does it actually get to the tree? But this is kind of the walkthrough of the just going on holidaysequences.com. Uh, again, there's other places you can download uh, sequences, which I'll link. Uh, but this is my personally my favorite so far. I'm sure there's others out there I haven't even heard of, but you can use them and then download the file using X Lights, and then you can get. Uh, yeah, some pretty cool things done just by a few clicks.